Does anyone want to guess what my favourite LEGO set of 2024 is? It's not the LEGO telephone box, LEGO's pushing this set way too hard, it's in the title of the video, it's the Polaroid set. And by the way, no one actually uses those telephone boxes, they're all for tourists and they hardly even work. The LEGO set actually comes with a film cartridge similar to an actual Polaroid, but one sad thing is, is the LEGO set actually can't store actual Polaroids, so you have to use these paper cards instead. These cards are quite good, but I'm surprised LEGO didn't take actual images and scale it down to a LEGO form factor to be stored inside of these cartridges, so I actually done the mercy of doing that, so let's see how I done this. And the LEGO mosaic pin pieces are quite popular, but the aspect ratio we're working with to fit inside of this cartridge is 7 by 11 and I don't feel like these little circular dots provide enough colour, so I want to use a square piece instead. Not only that, there's a lot of online tools already supporting pin pieces and I wanted to create something unique. Going on Bricklink to see all the 1x1 one one tile combinations, I actually found the LEGO 1x1 one one tile to be the best option and it actually has quite a variety of mix of colours. Using Python, I can dynamically get the image and scale it to fit the size of the cartridge, hence I can get the individual pixels as well. Hey, it even looks like Minecraft! Now we have all the individual colours, I'm going to have to go in and try and compare it with the actual tiles that LEGO has actually produced because, for example, this blue doesn't exist from LEGO but this blue does and it's kind of close enough, so I'm going to have to make a formula that has to reiterate through all of these. For this Project, I wanted to use two images, the first being my profile picture that you can see here and the second I wanted more of a scenic view so I chose to go to Strawberry Field which is a local park the next day. I took as many pictures as possible while I was there and put it through the Lego algorithm to try and see what it would look like in the end and a lot of them didn't turn too well. The problem is that the level of detail that they required wasn't really there, for example this Beatles memorial which looks quite nice ended up looking like an ink blob so that couldn't work. In the end I found this piece stuff which had high levels of contrast so I think we're going to use that. Okay so now I've got all the colours I needed to get, I also worked out the quantity to place all the Bricklink colours and then some problems arose. I didn't realise how scarce some of these tile pieces were, for example the silver piece I needed to use in the middle of the dove was only available in the Aragon and Arwen Brickhead set and each of these sets only come with two of these so quantity was not really there to be honest. It actually resulted in me needing to place about like three different orders from two different countries and yeah it took a while. Two weeks later after I got all the pieces another issue arose since I wanted to use a base white tile to try and mimic the Polaroids but I didn't realise that LEGO don't actually produce these and don't even produce ones that are the aspect ratio of 7 by 11 so I had to get the Stanley knife out. I don't know who would trust me with one though and I had to cut out two individual little slices for these cards. I did ruin a couple of times and I did use a third party one because the LEGO one that they had that was grey was way too expensive. Building it was actually relatively straightforward and after that look the factory finished but, and you can see they're just a bunch of colour blobs but hey at least it provide a little bit of memory and you know if you squint your eyes you can kind of tell what's going on you can kind of see this is my profile picture and this is a that, that white little cube right there is meant to be a dove. A problem with Lego is the more detail you use, the larger the scale you have to use. And look at this, this is just a, a head of Batman and it's fucking huge. I also noticed why they don't use tiles for mosaics because if you make a mistake near the middle, it's a pain in the ass to fix. You could try and use the ejector tool in the middle, but honestly, I just ended up needing to scrap half of it and then redo it again because I misplaced one of the blocks. It was like a blue block. It, there's like six blues on here. Urban Land, the creator of the original portal, it says, don't do anything someone else can do. Undertake a project unless it's manifestly important and nearly impossible. Now, this project was neither of those, but it did make me find out some cool original LEGO building techniques and using an external LEGO fair party website to produce some cool memories. If you want a copy of the code, you can actually check it out on my GitHub in the link in the description and hope you can make some happy memories or sad memories. I mean, if you use it in any case, I'll be made up.